back to my channel Gababetic. If you've watched videos on my channel before, you'll know that I'm actually leaving the UK very soon and moving back to Ireland. So because I'm not going to be able to get the same gluten-free products here in the UK as in Ireland, I thought it would be really fun to make a video of my top 10 UK gluten-free finds. So these are basically food products that I found from living here for the last four years that I absolutely love and I'll be really, really sad to leave behind because I don't think they're going to have them in Ireland. So now is my opportunity to eat them all. <laughs> We're going to go in the order of least favorite to favorite, but even like the least favorite is still so, so good. I hope you like this video. If you do, please give it a big thumbs up, comment down below and consider subscribing if you're new to the channel. I will be moving back home to Ireland soon, so maybe I can do one like that in Ireland. We'll see what the food is like. But for today, let's focus on the UK gluten-free finds and let's start with number 10. All right, so number 10 are these Heck Vegan Italia Burgers. And I believe I had these in my Veganuary video. That's when I tried them the first time. And the reason that I love them so much is, well, they're gluten-free and vegan. And I just think it's really good because I'm not a huge fan of having like meat mince burgers. So these are really good alternatives and they don't have that like veggie burger taste. They actually taste really kind of like beans, kind of like falafel chickpea, that kind of taste, but they're really good. I'll put in a little clip or a picture of them cooked. Also, something else great about them is they, they're like crumbed, they're like breaded, and you don't often get gluten-free stuff that's breaded that much, so it's really nice to have that like texture and that like kind of consistency of a burger, and it does stay together, which is always a plus in terms of gluten-free, so I don't think they're in Ireland, they're a fairly new thing, so hopefully they will come to Ireland, but definitely one of my top 10 favourites. <laughs> We got the tagliatelle. I found this this year and this has turned out to be one of the best gluten-free pastas. First of all, I never seen tagliatelle shape before gluten-free anywhere except this is from Morrison's and honestly the price of it was like 80 cent. So incredibly cheap, good value in Morrison's. I like to make a kind of pesto tagliatelle with this. The reason I love it is it just, it doesn't turn to mush. A lot of gluten-free pasta just turns to mush when you cook it. This stays together so you actually have those shapes. I'll put in a clip and show you me having it for dinner one night. Here is how mine looks. I'm really, really happy with it. And it's obviously nowhere near as good as what's on the box, but I'm super happy with it. And I want to show you, but the pasta is staying together really well. That's what I like about this one. It doesn't clump. And it's just fun to get a shape that <laughs> you can never get. Like you don't see gluten-free tagliatelle, but this looks really good. I never see this shape anywhere. All I see is gluten-free penne pasta or fusilli. So this is really good. And yeah, I really like the taste of it as well, especially with pesto. That's my favorite combination. <laughs> Okay, number eight then, it's a chocolate theme. You know, I have a sweet tooth, but I think I've kind of balanced this video out, but we definitely needed to have a kind of a chocolate category. So I wanted to include two different types of chocolate. The first is the Dr. Utker chocolate, which I use to cook any of my gluten-free vegan desserts. Honestly, the best baking chocolate you'll find for gluten-free and vegan. And then the other chocolate is Nomo chocolate, which is just insane. Like it's vegan as well as gluten-free and it tastes so good. Like it tastes like milk chocolate, it's so creamy. Here's a lot of the different varieties. And of course you can get the Nomo easter egg as well with the easter bunny and they have so many different like flavors they have orange they have like caramel they have the plain one they have a fruit one i think and they have a kind of a cookie dough one at easter time just so good taste so creamy and gluten-free and vegan like you can't go wrong so really really good chocolate <laughs> Next we have these gosh sausages. So these are gosh veggie cocktail sausages with sage and black pepper. As you can see, they're vegan, gluten-free, high in fiber. And what's really good about them is they're so good for lunches. In the pack, you actually get a lot. It might not look like too much on the camera. Honestly though, this could be like two or three portions for me because they are very filling. So they're kind of like a chickpea kind of bean falafel taste, but they're so good. And especially for lunch. And what's really handy is that you can bring them out and have them cold. It is really hard sometimes to find gluten-free options for lunch. Like if you go into a lot of supermarkets, they just don't have a gluten-free sandwich unless you're lucky. But a lot of supermarkets do have these and they're just really handy because then you can have something that you can bring with you. You don't have to worry about heating it up either. And they're very tasty. So we're gonna have one now actually. But they do smell like falafel kind of like that. Here's how one looks. It is like the shape of like a cocktail sausage, but it is obviously a vegan gluten-free version. Mm. They're so soft as well and they're, they're so tasty. Oh, I just love them. Okay, so you see me eat like three of them there, so I need to put them away and move on to the other food. Number six then is actually a drink. 
and I absolutely love banana flavor so that is why this has made number six on the list. I'm filming this on a different day because I was in the shop and I saw this and I was like <gasps> I have to put this in the video so we gotta shake it up and yeah the reason this is my favorite is purely because it's banana flavor. They do other flavors like chocolate, strawberry and they have a vegan one as well in chocolate and strawberry too with coconut milk I think but and vanilla they have vanilla but this one this banana flavor like I don't know, is it just me, but I absolutely love anything like banana flavor or banana smell. Do I like bananas that much? Probably not, but I don't know what it is. So we're gonna go give it a taste. Taking my insulin already for this because I'm so excited. Oh, it smells so good. Here we go. Oh my God. It makes me so happy. Oh my God. At first I was like, I'll only drink half, but like it tastes so good. I, I can't. Why is banana milkshake so good? It's my favorite. And I've never seen this brand anywhere other than the UK. So yeah, this is one of my top UK gluten-free finds. It's not really a food, but it's a milkshake drink, so kind of, so it's definitely worth a mention, but so good. If you see this, definitely get banana flavor. Halfway there, then number five, we're coming into the top five, and it's damn cake, or dime cake, however you want to say it. It doesn't matter how you say it, because it tastes so good. I don't know if you get this in Ireland, but I've only seen it in the UK. You can get, like, a version in Ikea. I put that in my Ikea video. I'll link it down below if you want to see that. But this is the proper dime version, and it's gluten-free, and oh my god, it's so good. <laughs> it's really, really good. I'm going to take it out now and show you a slice, but it's, like... It looks like there's like biscuit layer there, but it's gluten free. So we're like, how does that work? But this is so good. And I've only seen it in the UK and it is my favorite. Let me show you how it looks. So this is it just out of the packet. And obviously it's frozen. It's like an ice cream kind of cake, but this is how it looks. And there's all the crunchy bits and yum. So there we go. I've cut a slice and this is the inside of the cake. You can see the chocolate layers and the creamy layers and the biscuit layer. So yeah, it is gluten free, even though it has like this kind of biscuity taste. I'm eating it now. This is the slice that I cut and it's just so creamy but like crunchy at the same time like these are these white layers are like really creamy and then you've got the biscuit and then you have these crunchy parts and it's just so good so yes this is one of my favorite uk desserts i will say that okay so that was number five damn cake and we needed to get some sweet things on the list and that is the perfect place to put that but absolutely delicious and definitely recommend <laughs> Okay, we got another drink on the list and if you watch my what I eat in a day video, you'll have seen this before. I'll link it down below if you haven't seen it. But it's the Rabina. Now, I need to explain this if you haven't seen the video. This is kind of like a squash or a juice. Obviously, I have the no added sugar version for type 1 diabetes. So it has like one carb and 200 mils or something like that. The very important thing is you have to dilute this. You can't just like pour this straight into your cup and drink it like that because it will taste disgusting. I know you're probably wondering why is it number four then? When you make it correctly, it is amazing. So I'm gonna make a glass now. If you had a 200 ml glass, that is the amount I would recommend to be a nice tasting Ribena. So here is my glass. I had about a quarter here of Ribena and the rest is topped up with water and, oh, it tastes so good. I should say the taste is blackcurrant, but it's really good. And the, my favorite thing about it is because it's no added sugar, I can literally drink like two or three cups of these and not need any insulin. And obviously if you're in the UK, you'll know all about Ribena, but if you're not and you do visit the UK, get yourself some Ribena because it is so tasty and that is why it is number four on the list. Number three then is a pizza. So this is a Morrison's free from gluten margarita pizza and it tastes insane. And the best part about it, because normally gluten-free things are very expensive, as you might know. This is like £1.25 in Morrison's. It actually used to be 80 cent when I started buying it like two years ago. So it has gone up in price, but I still think £1.25 is really reasonable for a gluten-free pizza. I don't think it's too bad on carbs. You know, pizzas are like the worst thing if you're type 1 diabetic. If you had half of this, it's 40 grams of carbs, but it tastes so good and it's so like cheesy as well, so good. But I think the reason that I love it so much is the taste is really good, first of all, and then the price. It's the price that like sells it for me. All right, so here is the pizza when it is cooked and it is very cheesy. Like I said, it's really good. It is a bit small as a pizza, but I think like that's good for one person, to be honest. So I'm happy with that. And I'm going to give it a taste. Mm, it was really good. It has a really, really good margarita taste. It's like really tomato-y, but then the cheese is so good as well. And what I like about it is it's not too thick, the crust. Sometimes some gluten-free ones can be like really doughy kind of taste. All 
right, top two, what's it gonna be? If you know me from my channel, you know I love sweet things. So of course we gotta have these donuts. These donuts are from Donut Time. You would have seen me in a few of my vlogs visit Donut Time in London. I ordered a six pack though to the house and these are all the flavors I got. And my God, they are insane. I think my favorite though is this white chocolate one with sprinkles called Candy Warhol. That is the best one. And they are baked donuts, not fried, which makes them taste even better, I think. And the fact that they have a lot of different flavors that are gluten-free too, instead of just like one generic plain gluten-free donut, I think that's really important as well. So having a gluten-free donut is just so rare. And that's what I'm really worried about back in Ireland, that there might not be any gluten-free donuts. So what am I gonna do? I don't know, but we'll have to figure it out. <laughs> gluten-free find in the UK you're probably wondering what she's gonna say you're probably thinking it's something sweet but it's actually not my number one gluten-free find you might be surprised is this sandwich from Marks and Spencer's this egg and watercress sandwich I know you're probably thinking that's a bit of a random flavor and a random thing to have number one but let me explain it is insanely difficult to sometimes get a lunch out if you're gluten-free and I mean like from a supermarket not every supermarket has gluten-free like lunch options like sandwiches m&s this sandwich here and morrison sometimes have a sandwich as well that's gluten-free so this is like what i can kind of like 80 percent rely on to be in the shops because nearly all of the marks and spencers that i've been in have this one here's how it looks so yeah it actually looks like a real sandwich this is 46 for the whole sandwich which i don't think is bad because it's actually big and here's another great thing about it is actually made on gluten-free bread that is a normal size so it's not a tiny sandwich i've been waiting all day for this because i've been filming this from 10 down to one so this is number one so i've been waiting for this so i'm gonna have a bite mm. What's so good about it is the bread is so soft and I really like the hard boiled like egg taste but it's actually not too strong if you don't like it. It's not like a really strong egg taste. It's more kind of like a creamy like kind of mayo kind of taste but it's so good and I have to rate it number one because it's just having an option where there are no options is what rates it so high for me. The taste is amazing. The bread is really good quality especially for gluten-free because you know sometimes it can be dry or really small so I think that's really good. Okay so I showed you all my top 10 UK gluten-free finds. I really hoped you liked this video. If you do please give it a thumbs up, comment down below what was your favourite or if you have a different favourite in the UK that maybe I could try before I leave and also consider subscribing if you're new here. Thank you so so much for watching this video. I'm gonna miss all of these products so so much so I'm gonna make the most of living here for the last few weeks before I move but thank you so much and I'll see you all in the next video. Oh, 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 oh,